Uh, hello everyone, today I will teach you how to calculate the compass north, the deviation, the magnetic north, and the var variation, and the true north. So this is what we call the CDMVT or in order for us to remember it easily, we can call this can dead man bow twice. Okay. So always remember C is compass north, D is division, M is magnetic north, V is variation, and P is true north. But before that, in order for us to uh, calculate this CD and VP easily, we should remember some rules. Okay? So the first rule is let me label this one as rules. The first rule is when we want to calculate from compass north to true north, we should subtract westerly and add easterly. If we want to calculate from true north to compass north, we should add westerly and subtract easterly so the second rule is when calculating the variation we also have rules to follow so variation as we all know variation is the angle between true north and the magnetic north so this angle is what we call the variation. So the first rule when calculating the variation, when you want to calculate from true north to magnetic north, we should add westerly and subtract easterly. If, we, if you want to calculate from magnetic north to true north, you should subtract westerly and add easterly. The second rule that we should remember in calculating the variation, when the magnetic north is best, the variation is west. Okay? And then when the magnetic north is least, the variation is east. Okay. So what do you mean by best and what do you mean by least? If the magnetic north, I mean the if the value of the magnetic north is greater than the value of our true north, our variation, the direction of our variation is west. And if the value of our magnetic north is lesser than the value of our true north the direction of our variation is east okay so that is the second rule how about the third rule the third rule is about deviation as we all know deviation is the angle between magnetic north to compass north so this angle here is what we call the deviation. Same as the variation, if you want to calculate from magnetic north to compass north, we should add westerly and subtract easterly. And if you want to calculate from compass north to magnetic north, we should subtract westerly and we should add easterly. Okay? So, the second rule in calculating the deviation is when compass north is best, our deviation is west. If our compass north is least, our deviation is east. Okay? Which means... If our compass north is best or has the greater value compared to magnetic north, our deviation is west. 
and if the value of our compass north is least or lesser than the value of our magnetic north, it means that our deviation is east. The direction of our deviation is east. So that is the third rule. So how about the fourth rule? The fourth rule is about our compass error. Compass error. So as we all know, compass error is the angle between the true north and the compass north. So this angle between the true north and the compass north is what we call the compass error. So it means that the combination of our variation and our deviation is what we call the compass error. So same as variation and deviation, if you want to calculate the compass error from true north to compass north, we should add westerly and subtract easterly. And if you want to, to calculate from compass north to true north, we should subtract westerly and add easterly. So the second rule about the compass error, if our compass north is best, then our compass error is west. So if our compass north is east, then our compass error is east. So these are the rules that we should remember when calculating the compass north, the deviation, the magnetic north, the variation, and the true north. Now, let me give you an example. So let's turn to the next page. So make sure that you already take note those rules to remember when calculating the CDMVT. Okay, so for example, we have our given true north. Our given true north is 114. And then our variation is for west and our magnetic north is missing and then the deviation is 5 east and the compass north is also missing so in this problem, we should find the value of our magnetic north and the compass north. So, let's compute. So, let's calculate this one using the CDMVT. C -D -M -V -T. So, we have our given true north, which is 114. Then we also have our variation, which is 4 west. And we have our deviation, which is 5 east. And then the compass and the magnetic north are missing. So what is the first thing to do? We should find the magnetic north, which means true to variation. We should calculate it in this direction, which means true to compass north. And the rule when calculating true north to compass north is true north to compass north is add westerly and subtract easterly. So, as what we can see. Our variation is west, which means we should add westerly. So 114 plus 4 is 118. So take note everyone that 
only the arrows have their direction so the compass north the magnetic north and the true north has no direction so only the deviation the variation and also the compass error okay so we already have our magnetic north so how about the compass north so we can get the compass north using the deviation and the magnetic north the rule regarding true north or compass north is add westerly and subtract easterly since this is east we should subtract 118 and 5 east so 118 minus 5 is 113 so very good we already calculated the value of our compass north and the magnetic north So example number two, let me give you another example. The next example is we have our given variation which is 7 west. We also have our magnetic north which is 309. And we also have our compass north which is 314. So the missing are the true north and the division. So we should use the CDMVT calculation in order for us to get the true north and the deviation. So let's start. C D M V T. So let us first put the given values of variation the magnetic north and the compass north so the missing values are the deviation and the true north so first is let us get the true north so we will use the magnetic and the variation which means we are going down since true north is the missing so compass north to true north, the rule is we should subtract westerly and add easterly. So since this is west, we should subtract magnetic north and the variation. So 309 minus 7 is 302. So always remember that the true north the magnetic north and the compass north has no direction so now let us calculate what is our deviation so in calculating the deviation we should first identify if our compass north is greater or lesser than our magnetic north as what i have said in calculating the deviation if the compass north is best the deviation is west the compass north is least the deviation is east so the compass north is greater than our magnetic north so it means the compass is best so the direction will be west so we already have our direction which is west so this time we should analyze what should be put a value of deviation in order for us to get 309 magnetic north so compass north to true north subtract westerly and add easterly right so since this is west we should subtract westerly so how much should we subtract to 314 in order for us to get 309 as our magnetic north so we should subtract 5 west okay so in order for us to check if our answer is correct compass north to true north subtract west and add east so 314 minus minus 5 is 
309. So now we already have the value of our deviation and the value of our true north. So that is how to get our deviation and true north. So now we already know how to compute if true north is missing, if magnetic north is missing, if the deviation is missing, and the compass is missing. So this time, what if variation and deviation is missing? For example, we have our given true north which is 156 degrees and we also have our given magnetic north which is 148 degrees. And we have our given compass north, which is 143 degrees. So let us use C, D, M, V, T. So let's put the given values, which is true north is 156 degrees, the magnetic north is 148 degrees, and the compass north is 143 degrees. So now, Let's try to find the deviation and the variation. Let's begin with variation. So how should we calculate the value of variation? So in my previous discussion, I already I already discussed that variation is the angle between true north and magnetic north. So how will we know if we should subtract or add magnetic and true north so we will use the if magnetic is best the variation is west and if magnetic is least the variation is east so as what we can see magnetic north is lesser than true north which means magnetic is least so our direction will be is so what should we put as value of variation in order for us to get the true north 156 degrees so according to rule number one compass north to true north we should subtract west and we should add east so since this is east so we should find a value that we should add to 148 degrees in order for us to get 156 degrees true north. So the value will be 8 east. So in order for us to check if our answer is correct, we only have to add 148 and 8 so the sum will be 156 degrees. So now we already have our variation. This time, let us find the deviation. So according to rule number 3, we should identify if the compass north is least or if the compass north is best. If the compass north is greater than our magnetic north then the compass is best so if we have compass best the direction of the deviation will be west and if our compass north is least then our direction of our deviation will be east so as what you can see, the compass north is lesser than our magnetic north. So the compass is least, so the direction of our deviation will be east. So compass north to true north, add easterly. So what should be the value of deviation? What should we add? to 143 degrees in order for us to get 148 we should add 5 degrees east so in order for us to check if our answer is correct add 143 which is the compass north and add the deviation 5 so the result will be the magnetic north which is 148 degrees so that is how to compute 
the deviation and variation. So that's it. Very easy. This time, let us try to assess your understanding regarding the discussion. So let me give you a practice exercise. So the given values are the true north, the variation, and the deviation. So the missing values are the magnetic and the compass. I will give you one minute to answer and to find the values of magnetic and the compass. So now I will show you my solution and you can check if your answers are correct. So C, D, M, V, T. So let us put the given values which are 200 through north, variation is 10 west and the deviation is 20 east. So let us find the magnetic north, through north to compass north, add westerly and subtract easterly. So since this is west, we should add 200 plus 10 is 210. Now this is the value of our magnetic north. This time what is the value of our compass north? So we should use the magnetic and the deviation. So still the same rule, add westerly and subtract easterly. So since this is east, we should subtract 210 and 20. So 210 minus 20 is 190. So this will be the value of our compass north and our magnetic north. 